everybody i am clara you are watching megna's kitchen today let's make milk and rice pudding it's called as kheer we are going to simmer some milk and flavor this up with some cardamom and we are going to cook the rice in this creamy milk and it's going to be very delicious let's quickly run through the ingredients and start the recipe so for making the kheer you need quarter cup of basmati rice wash the basmati rice it's really nice and good and then drain all the water you need to soak the basmati rice for at least 30 minutes you can even use any variety of rice like sona masuri rice instead of basmati rice and next here i am taking one cup of jaggery one tablespoon of sugar and pinch of cardamom powder one tablespoon of ghee uh, here i am taking four cups of whole milk full packed milk so quarter cup of pista slice raisins and quarter cup of almond slice and quarter cup of kazu slice we will start by boiling the milk i'll go ahead and add in the ghee first ghee is nicely melted just going to move this around so that the bottom of pan will be nicely coated with ghee so that the milk doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and now we will add in the milk boiling the milk we will add in the soaked basmati rice drain all the water from the basmati rice so we are going to continue to cook this until the basmati rice is completely tender and at the same time the milk should be reduced to half so all we need to do now just keep mixing it once in a while and cook it on medium heat the mixture will become nice and creamy and at the same time the basmati rice will be nicely cooked should be soft it's been about 7 minutes let's check on the rice as you can see it's nice and tender keep mixing this now we will add in the one cup of jaggery once adding the jaggery nicely mix it and now we are going to add one tablespoon of sugar keep mixing this now we will add in the nuts pistachio adding almonds almond slice and cashew slice all the nuts give a very good crunch at the same time it provides some thickness and some texture to the kheer now we are adding raisins mix it nicely and we are going to continue to cook it for 5 minutes more on medium flame or until reaches the right consistency that you are looking for I want it to be slightly thicker not very thick so I am going to cook it for the 5 or 7 minutes after 7 minutes of cooking it has thick and quite a bit
continue to mix this now i am going to add in the pinch of cardamom powder and pinch of salt mix it nicely after adding cardamom powder milk have cooked it for one minute stirring it around and this is the consistency that i have been looking for it's nice and thick i don't want to thick more than this and now i'm going to turn off the heat we'll finally garnish it with some nuts and rice kheer is ready it's very yummy and delicious So I hope you enjoyed watching today's recipe on how to make this yummy and very very flavorful kheer. So for more such yummy recipes make sure that you get subscribed to Meghna's Kitchen. Thank you so much guys. I will be back soon with another great recipe. Till then take care. Bye.